वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स ज्योग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सेवेंथ लेसन नंबर फाइव विंस पार्ट टू सीजनल विंस मॉनसून मॉनसून विंस आर जेनरेटेड ड्यू टू द अन इवन हीटिंग ऑफ लैंड एंड वॉटर in the different seasons during summers monsoons blow from the sea to the land and in winter they blow from the land to the sea refer the figure it is there in your textbook also figure number 5.6 see now the effects of these winds are felt in south east asia east africa north australia in indian subcontinent the influence of these winds is seen in the summer and winter seasons due to these winds the indian subcontinent experiences monsoon and retreating monsoon seasons apart from summer and winter monsoon winds are in fact sea and land breezes blowing on a large scale most of the precipitation in the indian subcontinent is the effect of monsoon winds after crossing the equator they blow from the southwest towards the indian subcontinent during the period from june to september they are called the southwest monsoons they are full of moisture now from september to december because of the low pressure area developing near the equator winds blow from the indian subcontinent towards the equator these are called the north east monsoon winds and they are dry winds cyclones cyclonic conditions are created when a low pressure area is surrounded by high pressure area in these conditions wind start blowing towards the low pressure area from the surrounding high pressure areas due to the rotation of the earth the cyclonic winds in the northern hemisphere move in an anti clockwise direction and in the southern hemisphere it moves in clockwise direction during a cyclone the sky is cloudy winds blow with a very high velocity and it rains heavily the duration velocities direction and place of origin of these winds is unpredictable means we don't know how much time it will take what will be the speed of the wind and from which direction it will start this is the meaning of unpredictable cyclonic storms cyclones occurring in the western part of the pacific ocean along the coasts of japan china philippines etc are known as typhoons these storms arise in the months between june and october due to high velocity winds and heavy rains these prove to be destructive the cyclones in the caribbean sea are known as hurricanes and they are very destructive destructive means it causes lot of loss of 
man and property during these storms the minimum velocity of the wind is 60 km per hour cyclones originate in the temperate zone but they are not so powerful and hence not destructive anti cyclones under specific atmospheric conditions the air pressure in a particular region increases and the pressure in the surrounding areas remains low in this situation winds blow from the center towards the surrounding areas in a circular manner in the northern hemisphere these winds blow in a clockwise direction whereas in the southern hemisphere they blow in an anti clockwise direction during anti cyclones the skies are clear winds blow with lesser velocities and the weather is pleasant anti cyclones generally last for a few days or a week such anti cyclones originate in temperate zones the center of an anti cyclone is represented by the letter h see in the figure you will see the center is represented by which letter h anti cyclones are always experienced in high pressure belts because of the moving winds the rainfall in such areas is quite low thank you